YouTube, Temple Crazed here. Today is Friday, November 3rd, I think. Yeah, the 3rd. Friday, November 3rd, 2023. And we got a bunch of wheat pennies to hunt. I thought I'd set it up here on the scope. That way we could go through them together, look at them together. Probably going to go through them kind of quick, because there's probably close to 500 here. And I don't want this video to be two and a half, three hours long. So, first one up for grabs here is a uh, 36S. It's got a little bit of uh, corrosion-y going on there. Not not horrible. Might be able, might just be surface corrosion, so we might be okay on that one. Now, these are probably going to be mostly common dates. I'm just going to say that right now. Uh, the seller of them did that's actually a really nice 56 the seller did say that there were only like I think 19 through 1919 through the you know 50s um, I did find a 14 but it was uh, it was in really bad shape I used some of the chemicals to kind of clean it up so that I could see the date at least and it was uh, yeah, it was a 14, but it was bad. So I think some of these might have been dug. Uh, just just from, you know, experience of looking at wheat pennies and stuff when they get really corroded up. Like this one here. This 37 here. And that's, that's a lot of corrosion. So I got the Misfit bag out. Um, I don't know. I've been thinking about maybe selling the misfits the bad pennies I and mean, there's still copper ones in there right okay so that 38 it's not bad oh, in pretty good shape huh 53 I know I'm going kind of quick here but like I said oh what do we got here it's a big old die chip nice we like that like I say, there's a lot to get through here. Alright, 36. I am not seeing any of the telltale signs of the double diaverse. But, you know, I gotta say, some of these are not in too shabby of shape. There's a, I love the coloring that some of these coins get. But like, like this 51 here. While I, I understand it's a common date, it's actually in really nice shape. It got some weird coloring going on. I mean, we still have jaw and cheekbone separation. We have the little area in the ear there. Everything's nice and sharp. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was getting a little nervous. Now, we're not going to see any 43s in here, and that's because, well, <laughs> I went through when I was doing this because there was, like I say, a lot of corroded ones, a lot of ones that looked... Well, like this or worse. And, uh, there was a lot of 43s, and most of them are fillies. So I pulled them out, set them aside. I got almost two full rolls. Yeah, <laughs> almost two full rolls. Um, I think one of the rolls that's partial, I might dump into the, my bucket that has all my, uh, wheat pennies in it that I use for making rolls and then I mean there's always some in there anyway but some extras are always nice huh uh, 40 got a 48 46 I mean, this video is going to be long as it is. I should probably just break it up into a couple parts. 44. Maybe if I kind of keep an eye on it, maybe I'll stop at a half an hour and do a part two or something. I'm trying to keep at least one video coming out every day. Plus, I'm um, starting to work on getting a lot more shorts 
out for YouTube because those seem to drive a lot more um, subscribers into my into my channel. That's a bad corrosion spot. There's another 36. Again, in re relatively good shape. 20. Look at that. That 20 still got wheat lines. Too bad it's got some dings in the rim. I mean, a 1920 with wheat lines? That's pretty good. Let me look that up real quick. Okay. So, I went to PCGS to look it up. Um, this right here is what they say a VF, or very fine, 30 would be. Um, let's see what, go like this. Ours has got a little less wheat lines going on on the reverse here. We do have that ring ding. So, we're not quite at a VF 30. 30, but that's the lowest they got for pictures at least, and a 30 they say is 6, 25 is at 5, and 20, VF 20 is at uh, 4, so I'll take that, I'll definitely take that, alright, let's get back to this. Yeah, we'll take that. I mean, 20 is a very common date, but it's not common when you find them in decent shape. I gotta remember to make sure I'm getting these on the screen because the screen ratios and stuff all being different, and where I'm looking and where the um, where the uh, Recording software picks up are two way different things. So, uh, 51, 51 Denver, and yes, I do have the scope up really high because I wanted just to be able to see the whole thing, and I was thinking about it, I was thinking about it, and I was thinking, you know, instead of dealing with my phone camera that, you know, or even the uh, webcam that just always trying to focus and everything, let's just go with the scope and we'll just put it way high and it should work just fine. And I think it does. I think it works really nice because it's just always going to keep that one focus. I'm telling you though, I mean, there's not. Oh, we got a memorial, and I have pulled out a few memorials already. That one's in nice shape. I mean, total stairs and steps are all there. Huh. I have pulled out a few other 59 memorials that I found while I was pulling out the uh, 43s. And trying to pull out some of the uh, worse for wear copper. So yeah, I don't know. I mean, maybe somebody wants to buy the. Uh, there's some steelies in there, there's a but, but a, most of it's going to be copper in really rough shape. I think that's a maybe a twenty six. keep saying I'm going to get out of wheat pennies, but I don't know. They keep pulling me back. Such an iconic penny, right? Like I said, these are going to be mostly 
common dates. Um, what did I pay? I think I paid. Oh, look, it's 17. I think I paid uh, three and a half bucks a roll or something on these because I the way I bought them in bulk. But wow, that's okay. There's really been a few uh, coins in here that are definite graders. I think you know they may be in brown condition, but. I mean, look at this one, like, besides a little bit of corrosion showing up, I mean, the fields are clean on that reverse. There's no uh, issues, like I say, except for a little bit of corrosion there, there's no issues in any of the details or devices, as they're also known. The obverse, it's really good shape. I think that this one, if it didn't have that little bit of corrosion, would definitely get... Probably a mint state, I don't know, maybe a 65, 66? I don't know. It's pretty nice. Of course, PCGS doesn't list any prices for that, for a uh, brown 58, but I just took a quick look. Apparently there's a double die obverse in the uh, 58 also. I didn't even know that. I'm always learning something. You know, like they say, the day you quit learning, you might as well just hang up your boots. You know what I'm saying? Might as well, f life is gone, done, over. So, you might as well just keep on learning every day. 41, quick look for the doubling, don't see it. There's another one of them ones with that reddish color to it. Very cool. Another 48. Hold up. Alright. Gotta get something to drink every once in a while. It's really dry right now, you know, running the furnace and it's winter now and gotta wet the back of the throat, you know? Especially when I putting out, or I'm recording, you know, three to four videos a day now, it seems. Um, really trying to push the uh, envelope here. Uh, I'm just trying to get them out, you know, get them set up so that they go out. I'm trying to do, like I say, so one drops every single day. We'll see how that works. So right now, basically, the whole plan is to get a little bit of buffer ahead, maybe, I don't know, a few days at least ahead. And then, and then I can kind of relax a little bit, and each time I do a video, it just goes to the next, you know, the next available day or whatever. And, of course, the mail call videos, they'll still keep coming out. You know, this technically could have been a mail call video, and but I'm just doing it as a hunt video instead. But yeah, I'm going to keep trying to get do the mail call videos every day. Um, this did come in the mail, but it just felt like it's going to just be easier to do a hunt video on this. Because this is the only thing that came for me for... Uh, coin stuff. So I just felt it was be a lot easier just to do a hunt video than it would be to do a, I mean it would take, a, you know, the video for uh, um, mail call would have been, what, a few minute, minutes long? <laughs> so... Oh yeah, I was going to tell you too, uh, so we got some freezing rain and snow yesterday, so I was going to go out and head over to the silver shop today, but uh, with that freezing rain and snow, I uh, 
Yeah, I didn't feel like it. I've had way too many slip and falls on ice. And now, you know, I'm getting old. Bones don't like that. So I figure, well, it's supposed to warm up a little bit. Um, today it's actually getting a little warmer. Tomorrow it's supposed to be just a little bit warmer. And hopefully that means that we'll be able to get rid of some of that ice that's out there. And, uh, what the heck was this? Oh. Sorry, this 51 just hitting the light just, just right. And I can see rainbow toning happening with it. <laughs> but yeah, uh, get rid of some of that ice off the driveway and stuff, and then I'll go out and go over to the silver shop, hopefully tomorrow afternoon. Be able to pick up some, some sort of silver rounds, silver halves, silver quarters, I don't know, for, uh, for our uh, Weed Penny Wednesday show. I always like to have some other things to sell. And since, you know, the stuff that I keep ordering isn't coming in ever, it seems like, I gotta get it myself. Maybe I'll go over to the coin shop too and see what they got laying around. I'm not even looking that closely at the mint marks on these. I'm sure there's tons of them that are... Uh, RPMs and what whatever, but uh, I'm just putting them in a pile here, and they're all gonna get ugh, they're all gonna get swept off into uh, the bucket f to make roll coin rolls out of. So oh, there's a nice 38, nice wheat lines. So if any of you need to upgrade your books or whatever with some nicer uh and these are all going to be brown but some really nicely detailed uh wheat pennies my next wheat penny rolls are definitely going to have some of them in there i might have to purchase up some teens to throw in with them i don't know just to kind of round them out and like i say i think i'll dump the uh one roll that's only partially full of 43s into that. I gotta. I got to get rid of some of the pennies here. Hold on. All right, we're about 18 minutes in. I don't know if we're quite halfway done, but with running through all these, but. See, like this one here. I won't put I wouldn't put that into a roll. It's just not something I'm gonna do. So that's why I think my rolls I personally, I mean obviously it's my opinion. I think my rolls are some of the better rolls, even if you get more of the common dates. Uh I go through and pull out, you know, all the really really trashy stuff so you don't end up getting a whole bunch of of you know cro highly corroded coins or highly destroyed coins I mean I, I couldn't tell you how many times I've sorry <laughs> there's a divot in this one I think it was shot with a 22 huh uh, anyway, how many times that I've opened up rolls and found so many corroded coins and stuff, and I'm just like, really? Why would you Why would you roll these up? I mean, I get it. They're just trying to move their calls on to somebody else. But, you know, there's this thing called selling calls, and people buy calls, you know, for the copper content, really. I mean, when copper is like, what is it, three something a pound right now? I mean, uh huh. Like I say, mostly going to be common dates. Ouch! That one. 
Ravens going into the bag of misfits. I don't even know what's all in there. I'm I'm sure there's some uh, there may be some better dates or even some semi keys and keys in there even that are just so corroded that you can't hardly see anything. Like I say, I threw a 14 in there, but it could have been a 14 Denver for all I know. Um, I couldn't quite tell. If it was a uh, had a mint mark or not, because it was so corroded. So, I mean, if somebody, like I say, wants to buy that bag and wants to uh, see if they can do anything with the pennies that are in there, hey, I'll sell it. Some of the really damaged ones I'm also throwing in there because who wants to get that in their roll? I don't. I tell you, I can really go through a lot more of them a lot faster here on the, with the scope. Of course, I'm not calling out the dates and everything, but... It's got a little cud. Just a little guy right there. Huh. Cuds are king. Cuds sell. Even the little ones. The bigger the cud, of course, the more money they bring. But. And a cud's just a die chip. It's the where the edge of the die cracked off but hmm. it's not a bad looking coin these are you know I'm 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 gonna say it again I get that they're commons but I'm very very surprised at how absolutely nice some of these are even being common dates, they're in really, really good shape. I mean, if these were reds in this color, you'd be talking some big money. You know, red ones in these conditions. Let's see. In brown, you're not talking as much money, obviously, but... Um, you know, I guess my thought is, is they're probably worth a buck a piece, a lot of these, and people are going to say, oh, no, they're not, they're worth this much or that much, whatever, you know, and stuff, but honestly, um, these are getting harder and harder to find in good condition, well, I shouldn't say good, in, like, VG and... XF and all that, you know, they're getting a lot harder to find in these higher grades. So, mostly because people have cherry picked them and kept them in their collections and everything now. So, I mean, sure, can you go buy a B roll, a BU roll of 56s or 57s or 58s on eBay? Sure you can. But, you know, those have usually been pretty well cherry-picked anyway. Looking for uh, the best of the best, the cream of the crop, you know, the highest of the high. Where browns and red browns, normally people don't really think about it. So... Something to think about. Alright, we're at like 24 minutes here. We're at 45. 50. 51. 58 Denver. And like I say, I'm, the, the ones that have mint marks, 
I mean, like this 53 Denver, that's probably a minor RPM right there. And I'm not stopping for it. It's going to go into the rolls. Okay, here's a 1919S. And while I realize that it is a common date and everything, um, high grades of 1919S's are actually very desirable. Seven, fifty-five. Always got to look at them fifty-fives for that uh, DDO, right? Same with the forty-ones; they have a double die obverse. Same with the thirty-sixes, and got to look for all those. Fifty-seven, fifty-three. Another 53, 45S, forty-five, fifty-six Denver, 57, 58, 55, but I think I'd have to get a lot closer, but I'm thinking this might be the poor man's DDO. Kind of looks like the fifth, the last five, there's the abraded die deterioration. Denver, 45, 56, wow, that thing's nice, 1940 Denver, 44, um, is it a clipped planchet? It is a curved clipped planchet. It does have ring, rim damage on the other side, but it is a curved clipped planchet. 50. That's nice. It's always nice to find one of them. How much is it worth? Uh, in the condition it's in, maybe a couple bucks. But hey, it's a penny. If I can get two bucks for a penny, I guess I'm living the dream. If I could get two bucks for every penny I have, I'd probably have quite a bit of money, actually. I have quite a few. Thousands upon thousands. I mean, I sell them off pretty quickly, too, but I have quite a few that I keep just nicer ones, specimen, like more like specimens and stuff that I keep in a different area. I don't take them out, because if I take them out, then I want to sell them. Because <laughs> they're nicer, you know what I'm saying? I know it's weird saying that, but I guess that's what happens when you buy and sell coins. Alright, I think we're going to call it here on this 56 right here. Alright, this will be the end of part one. Uh, part two will be out tomorrow. Well, tomorrow for you, which would be Saturday the 4th. So, we'll see you then. Hope you enjoyed. Please do that whole, you know, thumbs up, comment, sub, share, 
all those good things that we always ask you to do. Thanks for watching, and have a good one.